The Goals and Values Seminar. I welcome you in our school, at our regular lecture. And today's class will be devoted to the Goals and Values Seminar. During this time and work dedicated to this subject, we'll try to reconcile these two parameters. The parameters of our consciousness which are related to the series of our values as well as to the individual goal setting. As it turns out these two things are connected, tightly linked together, and one depends on another. As a matter of fact, this dependence is the reason why the goals are not always achieved, or, if they are achieved, it's done at random and with an absolutely unclear outcome. The time allocated to this work will allow us to address this matter thoroughly and in great detail. It is not as simple as it looks. During our lecture, we will discuss the reasons for this and what exactly we can accomplish by the means of our personal effort. All the tasks that I'll be giving you at the end of each class should be performed to their highest quality. Being maximally strict on yourself, otherwise you will not get the expected result. But if you do everything correctly, if you follow the methodology and do all the exercises given to you, then by the end of our fourth lesson you would get the result you came here for and even more. First, I'm going to give you some theory on what we're going to work with, and then we'll proceed to the practical exercises that need to be done. All these exercises are of a mental nature and not meditative by any means. Since this lecture is related to the ad libitum department, there are no prerequisites necessary in terms of your ability and skills of entering a meditative state. Working with the I am as I am state is also not fundamental nor crucial to all the techniques. Your ability to think is the key. And so this is something that you will have to show, apply your effort in and strengthen as much as possible. Because here everything will be built on analytics, memories, and common sense, which will certainly be very useful to you. However, if something happens to suddenly become unclear, or perhaps you happen to miss or forget something, there is a book, and this book is very detailed in describing what we will be doing. So you can always refer to the printed text reminding yourself of the verbal word that slipped your mind. These are the main aspects that I would like to highlight from the very beginning.